I'm returning to love and hip hop because I am in a different space emotionally. I am not as angry, even though some shit still pisses me off. Don't call it a comeback, but bitch, I'm back. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Does this shit work? Like, what's happening? Bonnie Rubble, come over here and help me with this shit, because that's how long it's been around. No, 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 no. Richie, no, no, what stop. You, what you want to do? Stop. And what are you? I'm not, I'm not selfish. You're I'm, psychotic, I'm not... bitch. Baby, you better come get this bitch right now for a killer. I can't see myself with anybody else. How Love and Hip Hop started was they offered Jimmy a reality show and he wanted nothing to do with it. So um, Yandy introduced me to Mona and I told her that I had a meeting with Jim Ackerman. And I said, come with me and, you know, help me figure this out. And she came with me. And next thing I knew, she was a producer. Mona wanted to name it Diary of a Hip Hop Girlfriend or some crazy like that. Originally, it was Misa. Myself, Emily, that's all I can really remember right now. Misa was like, I ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? She was getting that puffy money, so. <laughs> and that's how it happened. Hang them in there. Nice, so you're gonna get organized. I invited Emily over to help me clean my closet. We've gotten really close lately, and sometimes things get hectic in her house, and I want her to know that if she needs me, I'm there. Only friendship I really developed was, um, Emily. Do you keep in contact with Mashanda? <sighs> no, I do not keep in contact with Mashanda. Samaya Reese, no, not at all. Olivia? No, I haven't spoken to Olivia either. Like, I'm telling you, like, this is, I'm just a different person in a different space. Only person I see is Emily. Emily is not the same person, y'all. Don't get it twisted. She's not that timid. She was never really that timid person that she came across to be. She was just very uncomfortable and she was in a relationship that was difficult at the time and I guess it looks like things are smoothing out now. How has your relationship been with Yandy? I am so sick of y'all asking me about Yandy. You asking my man about why he buying me bags and shoes, bitch. You done crossed the line. I never asked him. You gotta go. Bitch, I, I read the email. That's what he was doing. Bitch, I read the email. We don't have a relationship. I don't see her. Even if she was standing right here, I wouldn't see her. I don't see her. I'm not here to be disrespectful, but I'm not here to be disrespected. Let's do it. Early this season, you know, I sat down with Kim Bella, and I had a real conversation with her. And I let her know that what happened between us was definitely ugly. I don't expect much from her. You know what I mean? Jim and Joelle's are brothers. You know, they love each other. That's just how it is. And that's another reason why I would try with Kim. But um, let's see what happens. She seems like she's a sweetheart, but who knows? First option in my last resort, Chris. We was both laughing when you crashed the Porsche. Word. I still remember when you bring the cash to court. Remember that? And sometime, girl, I feel we on the crash court. Okay, since you guys have last seen me and Jim, um, well, I've been living in Miami for the past four years, and it's been a breath of fresh air for our relationship because he has to come and see me. He has to pursue me. It's not like I'm home just waiting for him to come home or when it's convenient at the end of his day. Um, and I think that's what I had done wrong for so long. Uh, I made him too comfortable. And when you keep on his toes, they'll pursue you. Long distance relationships work if you trust one another. Now there are risks involved, but if your happiness is more important than the risk, then I say you do what you gotta do for your happiness. We are not married. Um, I'm not planning a wedding. He's just my guy, that's just how it is. And yes, I still have a ring. That's just, I mean, he's like a part of me now. He's like my family, whether we're married or not. He's my go-to, he gets on my nerves, just like any other relationship. Um, I used to think that a wedding was important, but I think a bond is more important. A friendship is what makes that relationship last. Because you're not always in love, you know what I mean? You're not always in love. You may always love that person, but there are times when you're not always on the same page. And that friendship is what keeps you together. Did you get the supplies that said you needed from upstairs? I don't know. 
Yeah. It's a lot of supplies, though. You need all those supplies to take all those supplies with you to school? Jimmy, you got to stay on top of this because now you're going to be late because he's going upstairs for supplies. Wait, 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 wait. You taking these supplies to school? Mm-hmm. In a garbage bag? Yo. Mm-hmm. Are you insane? There was a time when Jimmy was on my back about children. And then he kind of just understood who I was and said, you know, she's got enough love for my son, so, you know, we share him. I love children, and I take care of everybody else's, but it's just not necessary for me. I'm a person that feels like a child doesn't complete me, especially with my lifestyle, and, you know, I'm an only child, and my parents are gone, grandparents are gone, Jimmy's always on the road. I just feel like a child would cause me to put more pressure on the way he moves and I don't think our relationship could stand that and I'm not trying to be a single parent. Even though he's a good father to his son, there's just some things that I would want different and I know that I wouldn't get that from him. At least I think I wouldn't. And at this point, that ship has sailed, girl. Don't These eggs is fried. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's proud of me. He knows where I've come from with the show and the struggles and how I stayed away from it so long and how no matter where I went, I was always attached to it in some way. It was my baby, you know, and I I walked away from it and um, I'm back.